Now let's do this questions from UPSC CSET 2023. In an, an examination, the maximum marks of each of the four paper, namely P, Q, R, and S, are 100. Right. So there are four paper, P, Q, R, and S, and the max maximum marks are 100 for each. Right. Marks scored by the student are in integer. A student can score 99 percent in n different ways. So what is the value of n? So how much he is scoring? See, first of all, this question is from permutation and combination, right? And I have seen like no coaching institute provided the correct answer for this questions and no one provided even the solution, right? So let's see how we will do it. See, the student is scoring 99%. So 99% of how much total marks? Total marks are 400 because each paper is of 100 marks, right? So this will be how much? This will be, if you will cal calculate this, so this will be 396. So the student is getting 396 marks, right? So now how he can get it? So first option, suppose in the paper P, he is getting 96 marks and in other he is getting 100, right? So the total is becoming 396, right? So this is the one possibility. And then these can also change. It may be possible that in Q, he is getting 96 marks or it may be possible that in paper R, he is getting or in the paper S, he is getting 96, right? So, how many possible way we can arrange them in factorial four ways? Out of these, these three are 100, so they are similar. So, we will divide it. So, this will be how many ways when we will solve it? So, this will be 4, right? And factorial 3, factorial 3 will cut factorial 3, so we will get 4, right? So, four ways we can arrange this. Now, the second possibility is like in the paper P, he is getting 97 marks, right? And in Q, he is getting 99 marks because we have increased one marks here. So, we have to decrease one marks in other paper, right? And in other, he is getting 100. Now, these things can also be arranged. How many ways? Again, factorial four ways. Out of this, these two are similar, 100, 100. So, we will divide it by 2. So, how many ways we will get? We will get 4 into 3, factorial 2, factorial 2 will cut, factorial 2. So, this will be 12. So, 12 ways we can arrange and this was 4 ways, right? Now, the third possibility. And the third possibility is like he is getting 98 marks in first paper P, right? And he is getting so here two possibility will get created, right? So we can decrease one marks here also 98 or 100, 100. I am telling you how to approach so that we don't get confused. And there is one more pos possibility that he is getting 98 and this is 99, and we are deducting one from this, right? So this will be 99, right? And 100. Now, in this case, the total possibilities will be factorial 4 upon because these two are similar and these two are similar. So, factorial 2 and factorial 2. So, this will be 4 into 3 factorial 2 will cut factorial 2. We will get 1 factorial 2 we will solve. So, this will be 2. So, this is 6 ways. Right. And in this, one possibility is this also. In this possibility, what will happen? Again, factorial 4. These two are similar. Factorial 2. So, this can be 4 into 3. Right, and this factorial 2 and factorial 2. This will cut this, so this is 12. So 12 ways are here, 4 ways, 6 ways are here, right? 12 here and 4 here, right? And one more possibility will exist. What is that possibility number 4? So this is 4 actually. So we will write it as 5. The fifth possibility is in the paper 1, he is getting 99, in the second also 99, in the third also 99, and in fourth also 99, right? So how many ways we can arrange it? This will be only one way is because factorial 4 upon factorial 4. So, this will be 1 only, right? So, now we will, we have to add all these possibilities, right? So, this is 4 we got here, then we got 12, then this 6, right? Then this 12 and then this 1, right? So, this will be 12 plus 12, 24 plus 6, 30, 4, 1 plus 5. So, 30 ways we can get it. So, the answer is option D, okay? I hope you have to understand right?